and this is a class on advanced English speaking skills. What I'd like to do as we get started is ask each one of you what you are looking for with this class and then we'll go ahead and put it all together. I mean, I've prepared a few things, but we can always change it to meet what you want. So, Erin, let's start with you. Why are you here? First of all, I think I've said that, but I would like to uh, improve my, uh, my communication, okay. be more fluent in English. Okay. Just improve communication and be more fluent. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Juan, how about you? Well, I, I want to improve also the conversation skill, the speaking skill, because sometimes people ask me that explain something and then the words just don't come out. Okay. Explain and words don't come out. Okay. Let's see if we can work on that a little bit. Uh, Kevin Pulido. Kevin. Uh, my purpose is to, uh, to be able to keep a fluid communication. Uh, sometimes uh, I don't, I am not able, uh, or I can't uh, to keep a, a, a conversation with okay. by long time. Okay, Melvin, we're getting some feedback from you, my friend. Can you um, can you uh, mute yourself and then come back on? Because we're getting we're getting feedback. It's it's um, it's interfering. Okay. All right. And I think uh, Sumaya, we're getting the same problem. Okay, Laura. Laura. Hello, Laura. Why are you hello, here? Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> tell me, what are you here for in this class? Uh, what I I'm here. Yes. Yes. I want to make sure you're getting what you came for. Mm -hmm. I want to study English, uh -huh. and uh, I need uh, speaking skills too. Okay. All right. So we're working on speaking skills. All right. Very good. This is a speaking skills class, so that's good. Uh, Melvin, Melvin Gonzalez, uh, tell me why are you here? Melvin, can you hear? I can't. Turn your microphone on. Turn your microphone on. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Melvin. We can't hear you. Okay. Show. Show, why yes. are you here? Uh, I want to learn English here and uh, I want to hurt English. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I, I want to study English here. Though. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So to study. And um, so Maya, I'm getting something from Linon. Linon, we're getting some feedback. Linon, mute your microphone. Thank you. It's still. All right. So Maya, so Maya, can you hear? No. You can't hear? So, Maya? Okay. Oh, I can't write. Okay, I'm typing too quickly. But let's get started. This class is on speaking skills, and it's speaking skills that would be in a conversation. So what I'd like to do is help you organize your thoughts so you can better use English and better communicate. And this is a speaking skill as opposed to learning the English language. So let me go to screen share. And I'm going to bring up a document that I've worked on. And can you see what I had? What I called an impromptu conversation? Can everyone see that? Yes. Okay. Yes, I see. Okay. There are. Okay, I'm getting some sort of feedback. I can't see the screen, so if someone else can help. 
Can someone else help? Okay, we go back again. Going back to screen share. Going back to, all right. A word to remember when you are dealing with speaking skills, especially when someone asks you, is impromptu. Uh, let me write that out. Impromptu. To, to. It's a Latin word, and, and it basically means right away. So if someone asks you to talk about something, to talk long, here's a way to do it. The first thing you need to do, I'm going to hop back for a minute as soon as I can find myself. The first thing you need to do is listen, is listen. A mistake many of us make is we hear and we try and talk without understanding what is being asked. So what we need to do is listen. Listen first. Okay? So let, let me come up with a question. Um, let's see. Um, Kevin. Kevin. If, if someone asks you to, uh, where do you live, Kevin? I live in Colombia. Colombia. Okay. If someone says, please tell me about Colombia. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, what do you say? Um, I, I could begin by talking about uh, Cartagena, a uh, touristic city, uh, the capital city, Bogota. Um, uh, about people, about food, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, the weather. Um, okay. I have to organize the topics. Let's. Good idea. Let's go back. Now, the first thing is: Can everybody see again? Yes, I can. Okay. Now. I said to Kevin, please tell me about Colombia. And Kevin immediately said, well, I'm going to talk about the cities and the tourist areas. He doesn't know what I really want to know. And why is that? Why is that? Because he didn't ask you, what do you want to know? Exactly. What you want is to use a, basically a question, Kevin, to follow up. Well. What do you mean about Colombia? There is a lot to know. Do you see, Kevin? Yes. Okay. So you ask me a question or two or three to get a better idea, a better understanding of what I'm looking for. Okay. So let's, let's go back and let's practice that, okay? Kevin, tell me about Colombia. Uh, what do you want to know? What well, about? <laughs> oh gee, I don't know, Kevin. Um, I've I've never been there. Um, can you tell me what the country is like? Uh, are you gonna are, are you gonna travel to Colombia? Um, I might. I'm thinking about it. Okay, uh, I recommend you, for example, the the touristic areas. These are great, and there are many many places. Uh, do you when do you want to travel to to Colombia? Oh, I'm thinking of traveling this summer. In summer. Oh, I, I I know the perfect city. It's Cartagena. Cartagena. It's the, most, the most popular city in Colombia to to touristic people. Okay. Um, a couple things. Let's go back to the screen share. I said let's go back to the screen share. There it is. And we go back down. Now, you listened and the next thing you did was you said, okay, I want to, okay, we're getting feedback, we're getting feedback. I want to think about what he's really asking. So he asked me another question. Are you going to be coming to visit? And you started immediately recommending 
Not touristic. T-O-U-R-I. I, you would recommend tourist sites, not touristic, but tourist sites. Okay. Um, for that, you might want to qualify your question by saying, well, do you want simply, do you want to see what's there? Whoops. Do you want to see what's in Colombia? And then you would go into the tourist sites. But what's happened is you've done two things. You've listened. You've asked questions to follow up, a few of them, and then you decided to think about how you're going to answer. The next stage is to organize. And, and I've invented this myself, um, but I call it LTO. Listen, think, organize. OK. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Okay. Good. That. Now let's let's talk about organization. Generally, and and Kevin was on the right track. Generally, when you organize, you really want to say no more than three things. Why? Because that's about all my brain is going to handle. <laughs> Does that make sense? You know, my brain can only handle so much, and you can see. You know, I don't have any hair, so everything leaks out anyway. Um, but most of us, most of us can't hold in our heads more than three ideas. So what you do is you think of, okay, what are the three ideas I want to say? And we go back to what Kevin was talking about. Okay. Um, his first idea, and this is his first idea, was Cartagena, did I spell that properly? Is a good place to start. You understand? It's not just Cartagena, it's certainly not all of Colombia. There, there's beautiful forests, there's, there's beautiful beaches. Well, Cartagena has beaches. Um, but then he would point out, it has good beaches okay but then he would want to talk about why the beaches are good okay you with me so far yes okay so Kevin tell me why are the beaches so nice uh, the beaches are a uh, clean are uh, there are many things to buy for example you you get uh, food in the beach uh, games uh, you can uh, take a, a boat and go to near islands uh, there, there are things to do there are activities clean a uh, uh, dive uh, go into the, the water is dive okay D deep. Okay, and you can dive. Um, now, let me throw out a couple of words just so you know the pronunciation better. Is um, islands, not islands, islands. Iceland. Okay, not islands. The S, <laughs> this is English, the S is silent. In other words, we don't say it at all. So it would be I lens. I lands. I lands. Yes. And now let's look at um, this one. Whoops. Dive. Okay. So there is an E right at the end of the word. You see that? So the pronunciation is the long I. You don't dive, you dive. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, great. Let's go back to the screen share. And let's see, Carlos, what we're talking about is some advanced uh, speaking, um, speaking skills. Okay, what, what's another reason? Um, what's another reason that uh, Thank you, Kevin. Cartagena, Cartagena is nice? And someone corrected my spelling. Thank you. Cart uh, Cartagena. 
Spell it for me, please. T A R T A A A G E G E. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. C A R T A G E N A. Cartagena. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, what else? Why else is Cartagena good? Uh, we have a touristic place. Is the okay? How about nice places? For tourists, touristic, touristic is not a word. Okay, it is not a word. So we say nope. That's Tourist. not one. Yes, it's tourist. Tourists. Okay, like what? Uh, what? What are some of the reasons? San Felipe's. What's that? Uh, a castle. So it's San Felipe Castle? Yes. Okay. What else? Um, I forget the name. Um, Baru is an island. An island. An island. Island. A island. Yeah, very good. And can you spell um, that for me, please? B V A A the other B that no no uh, it is it is it is B of the other B B no 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 it is all the word it is the A it is the B I am I am confused tell you I, what I, I, I'm type it write. for me type it for me please write it write it. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes. Uh, uh, bro. 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 Baru. No. Baru. 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 Okay. Baru. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, and that's just an island. I'll, I'll leave it here for now. What is a third reason? A third reason. Um, another place, for okay. example. Well, uh, we've done with the, the places for tourists. So we've got good beaches. We have good places for tourists. What else do we have? The people. The people. What about them? There are a respectful, polite, a, a happy, a very happy people. Okay. They are respectful. Polite and happy. Okay. They are respectful, polite, and happy. So those are all really good reasons to go to Colombia, right? Yes. And then we put it together. Okay. So you've come up with your ideas, and then you say, well, this is what Colombia is nice, and this is what Cartagena is nice. It has good beaches. We have nice places for tourists, and the people are nice. And, and you've tied everything together in one neat little package. Okay? Now, so crucially, what you want to do is take your thoughts, listen to make sure you know what someone is talking about. And Carlos says beautiful women. Um, I didn't say that. Are there handsome guys, too, for those who don't want to look at women? Kevin? Yes, excuse me. Carlos says there are beautiful women on the oh, beaches, yes. uh, and and when Cartagena. Um, <laughs> what what about guys? Are there handsome guys so the women can can see those? You can see, it, oh, <laughs> beautiful and ugly. <laughs> 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 no, I say that. Kevin, 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 I say that before here in Milan. I know. Four or five uh, girls from mm -hmm. uh, Cartagena ah. are, are really beautiful. So okay. <laughs> this is my point of view. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Now I want to practice with others. Um, Carlos, uh, not Carlos. I'm sorry, Kevin. Why don't you ask Laura to tell us about something? You make it up. To Laura? Yes, to Laura. Ask her a question. Uh, where do you live? I live in Russia. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, 
tell me something something good of the place where you live. I live uh, in the south of Russia. It's a beautiful place and uh, we have uh, four seasons here and uh, you can see uh, uh, cold winter here and very hot summer. It's very interesting. Okay. Um, let, let me ask you, um, Laura, mm -hmm. did, uh, did you think about what he was asking? Did you mm. listen to his question? Yes. Okay. Um, Kevin, did she answer the question you were asking? She, she gave me uh, a general answer. Okay. Uh, but he, he did, she, she didn't ask me for a specific topic, for example. Okay. Um, so what should she have done? Uh, she, ha she had to uh, ask what, what is my interest in. Okay. So why do you find, what do you want to find out about Russia? Russia. Okay. Now, Laura. Mm -hmm. He just said, tell me something beautiful about Russia, where you live. Is that right? I understood that he asked me about place where I live in Russia, because okay. Russia is a very big country. Yes, it's a huge country. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's the largest in the world in land area, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. 11 time zones. Um, but do you know what he means by beautiful? when he's asking about it. You have an idea, but it may not be his idea. So get him to qualify, okay? Get him to qualify. To qualify means find out what he means, mm -hmm. okay? So um, again, Kevin, I want you to ask the question, and then uh, Laura, did I pronounce mm -hmm. that properly? Laura? Yes, Laura, okay. it's Laura, right. Laura, mm -hmm. thank you. I want you to ask him that follow-up question, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, Laura, please tell me about something beautiful of your country. Mm. Uh, what uh, do you interest in? Uh, okay. uh, I'm planning to, to travel to Moscow and I would like to do uh, extreme activity. Can I find something there? Extreme activity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So now what you have to do, okay? He's as, as extreme activity. That's a major word. What's the next thing you do, Laura? Mm -hmm. Would you say, what do you mm -hmm. mean by... Extreme. Okay, so get him to explain. Go ahead and ask. Go ahead and ask him. Uh, what uh, kind of extreme uh, do you like? Okay, let's let's go back and look at the way you phrased it because this is an English class. Uh, I've written up a better way or a more common way uh, of saying what you're asking. In other words, you said, what is it that you have an interest? Is that what you said? In our English, it would be, what are you interested in? Do you see? Mm -hmm. And when you're asking him to clarify, to clarify what you mean by extreme, you say, well, what do you mean by... Um, in fact, I should change this. The word extreme. Okay. So ask him it. Ask him the question that way. Go ahead. Uh, me? Yes. 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 Mm. What do you mean by the word extreme? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand exactly. Uh, I uh, shouldn't ask uh, Kevin 
uh, about extreme? Well, let me look at where I'm going to text. This is just a better way to say it. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by extreme? Yes, what do you mean by extreme? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you don't know. It could be anything. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's how you would ask it. Okay, Kevin, it's your turn. Um, I mean, for example, clean a mountain uh, or uh, ride, um, ride a ball. Uh, I, Kevin, I didn't understand you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, did you ask about mountain? Mo mo uh, clean, uh, yes, clean. Oh, 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 not clean. Clean, that's the problem. That's the problem. C L I M B B is pronounced climb. 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 Oh. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's that makes a difference. Okay, you want to climb what? Climb or ride a, a ball. B U L L. Bull. That's in Russia. For example, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to know if yes, I can. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Laura, it's your turn. I think you can find uh, many places for climbing, but uh, it will be not natural place. Uh, you can go to the club for climbing, uh, or in the winter uh, you can go sp to special place uh, for climbing, and uh, there are much snow. Ah, no, clump. I'm sorry, no, it's not for climbing. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you can do that only uh, uh, in special club for that. Okay. When you say, um, Laura, not nature place, mm -hmm. you mean there's not a normal place for climbing, it's all man-made? I mean, uh, it's not nature mountain. Climb, it's uh, in mountain. Maybe I didn't understand. Okay. What he wants to do is climb mountains. Okay. And mm -hmm. you said it's not a nature place. Yes, Meaning because... Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, because uh, there are no mountains. Okay. So, there are no natural mm -hmm. places. Again, nature is a noun. But if it is uh, type like nature or, or nature like, it would be natural, a natural place. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Okay. So there's no natural places, but there are places. Is that correct? Mm, uh, places? Yeah. Where can you climb if you climb? Um, you can climb in special club. It's okay. like a sport club with wall, special wall for okay. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can climb. Okay, at climbing clubs. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, what about riding a bull? Mm. Riding a bull, it's a uh, uh, Spain activity, a tradition. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, uh, I'm afraid you can't find uh, this place here. Now this place uh, you can't find. You can't. Um, I lost. This word. Well, he wants to ride a bull. Let me make a suggestion. Bull riding. Does that make sense? Do you see that, Laura? Bull riding. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, look at what Laura did. She. Let's go ahead and pull the screen share back up. Okay. We're going to get rid of some of this. Now, she only did two basic areas, but we didn't talk about the beaches. We talked about um, mountains. No natural mountains. And we'll get rid of that. No bull riding. 
I mean, there's a lot of that. Uh, there's a lot that Russia can offer, but bull riding isn't one of those things. But do you see how she organized her ideas? Do you see how she organized her thoughts? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. All right, Juan. Do you see? Do you see how she did it? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good. Laura, you ask yes. somebody. Let's see. Why don't you ask? Why don't you ask Juan a question? And Juan can explain it. Uh, Juan, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Okay, let's stop. Not where is home. Home. A better way of saying it would be where is where is your home? Okay, Laura, try that, please. Where is your home? Okay, and now I choose a place for traveling next year. And what... Uh, can I see in Mexico something interesting? Yes, of course, but what kind of things are you interested in? Like, uh, you want to see some nature, or you want to see the cities? Mm, I, I'm i interested uh, in historical places. Very good. Places, um, I recommend cities like uh, the District of Federal, or Guadalajara, Michoacán, Morelia. All those cities have uh, historical places, and the the people there is very nice. We don't have uh, problems with security or stuff like that. It's, it's a very secure place to to go, and it's very quiet. It's relaxing. I recommend those cities. Okay, very good, very good. You started out by saying the cities talked about the cities and then said I recommend those cities and you answered very quickly. Good job. Now, um, Laura, mm -hmm. uh, just some some of the English phrases you could use. Uh, I don't remember exactly what you said, but you talked about wanting to travel someplace next year uh, and what like is something like that. Um, what you could say is I am choosing a place to travel next year, and what is Mexico like? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay, very good, very good. Now, Juan, you get to ask a question, but it's not about traveling. We've done the traveling. <laughs> um, let's let's ask uh, Bakshar. Let's ask Bakshar. Go ahead. Hi, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, Bakshar. I can hear you. Hi. How are you? Uh, fine, great. How are you? Tell me, Baksha, do you like TV shows like Friends or The Big Bang Theory? Nice. Hello? Please, Hello, Can you repeat it? Do you like to see TV shows like uh, Friends or The Big Bang Theory? You yes, know, I comedies? like Yes, I like to see Conference. And Tell me, like what, Charlie. which... Which on. one is your favorite? My favorite show is uh, Good Luck Charlie and Friends. My favorites are Good Luck Charlie and Friends. Okay, go on, Juan. Do you want to ask a follow-up? Yes, uh, I never saw Good Charlie. What is about that? What is about? That's about a family. A couple has uh, five children, so it's some comedy running around uh, about the family. Okay, so uh, do a follow-up. Okay, um, this is like uh, modern family, you know? Is so this you know, like, okay. is, is this like mo modern family? Modern family. Uh, yes. Or or tell me, is that is this TV show? It's uh, well known in all America. 
it's in America, so American TV show. Yes, I. It's an American TV show, but it's uh, remaked in many languages all over the world. Oh really? I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, now, do you want to ask him what uh, you've asked him about? Good luck, Charlie. Bakshar, have you ever heard of Modern Family? No, I never. Heard <laughs> okay. Um, for the record, Good Luck Charlie and Modern Family are very, very different. <laughs> very different. <laughs> okay. okay. Is, it, is it a sitcom, Modern Family, also? Yes. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Is. Tell him about it. Yes, uh, Modern Family. It's about uh, several families that they, it's all bound together, but it's a pieces of east of of comedy of each uh, family by separated that they are related because uh, someone are brothers and brothers in laws the grandfather uh, I think it's they are all different types of family members in different households. Okay? Now, let me go back and talk about some of the words you used. Um, you don't say in, in American English, I don't know about British, but in US English, you would not say, I never saw, you know, uh, Good Luck Charlie or, or Modern Family. You would say, I have never seen. And, and why you're saying that is that it happened in the past and all the way up to this point is something I have not, I did not see. So it's the, um, the past perfect is what we call it. Okay? I have never seen. I have never seen. That is correct. I've and never seen. I have never seen. Um, and then when you were asking about modern family, you would say, is this like modern family? You see? Now, notice something you, you both did. You both, in asking the questions and in answering the questions, were organized. You clarified, you asked the questions to clarify, and then you answered, and then you asked another clarifying question. Now, why do you think I am so intent on listening and asking questions. Why do you think I, I? Why do you believe I think that's so important? Because we get the idea from the listening. Okay. Let, let me let me show you something. Speaker. Okay. Listener. Now, when you have a speaker, the speaker says something but the listener may not hear it the same way. With you guys, it's speaker, English one, the first English, right? And the listener hears English two. <laughs> and then the listener. So you have four different steps where someone can be confused four different steps. Do you see? Four different places. That is one of the biggest problems in English. When you have even a native speaker like me, you're trying to ask something, but there's places everywhere along the way where we can get confused. Where we can get confused. And believe me, I get very, very confused. <laughs> so that's why I ask. All right, Bakshar, why don't you ask Debbie a question? Hello, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Uh, and Where are you from? Hi, Debbie. Sorry. Speak up, please, dear. You are from? Ah, uh, I come from Peru. Peru, okay. And Bakshar, Peru. yeah, go ahead. Is it in Europe? Peru? Yes, I, I live in... No. 
I live in Italy. Okay, now stop a minute. Stop a minute. Did you hear what he said? He said, where do you live? And you said, I live in Peru. His question was, is it in Europe? Is that correct? Yes. Was that, okay. Oh. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay. <laughs> go back and ask the question again. And then, I, uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I, Debbie, Peru, you said you, you are living in Peru. Is it in Europe? No, Peru is in South America. Okay. Where? Where? It's in South America. South, South America. America. Okay. So it's, now she pronounces it, was it South, South America? South America. Okay, yeah. In, in English, we would call it an American English. South. South. Not the same way you pronounce. Okay, okay. Baksha, go. In Peru, what are the most seen places, tour, tourist places? Okay. If I want to travel to Peru, which place do you suggest? There you go. There you go. That's good. If I want to travel to Peru, which places are best? Okay, Debbie. You. Oh, um... I don't know uh, very well Peru because I'm in Italy since I was uh, eight years old, but uh, I like uh, so much uh, Lima, the capital. Okay, let's stop for a minute. Now, Debbie, you came in late, so we're, we're, <laughs> we're not being very nice to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> One of the things, now, when, when Bakshir says, I want to go to Peru, the first thing you should do is ask, well, what do you mean by places to see? Okay. Get him to explain it to you, because he could confuse you, and you could confuse him. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure you know exactly what he is asking. Go ahead, dear. Go ahead. Hi, Debbie. Can you can you tell me which place is preferable to visit in your country when I want to see some historical places? Some what places? Historical places. Oh, historical. Now, Debbie, if you couldn't understand what he was saying, what would you do? Debbie? Maybe she is not listening to me. Okay. All right. It, it is hard. Um, I'll tell you what, Debbie, we can't hear you. So we'll do this. Um, I'm going to ask somebody to ask somebody else a question. Now, I've got Aaron and I've got Mauricio. Mauricio, my friend, how are you? Can anyone hear me? Yeah. Yes, I can hear. Yes, okay. I, I hear. <laughs> okay. Erin, I would like you to ask Mauricio a question. Now, Mauricio, you have come in late, and we are talking about speaking skills, how you would take a question someone asks you, and how you would understand that question, and how you would answer it. And the way you would do it is you would listen first, ask a question so you can understand okay and then uh, organize your thoughts okay Aaron go ahead dear go ahead Maurice is gone he's gone <laughs> yes. did I confuse the poor man um. <laughs> no he's always that he always talk a lot I don't know maybe probably <laughs> okay is it we have all right well go ahead and um, Sopiaman where is he? He's just joined our hangout. Um, Sopiaman, go ahead and uh, Aaron, ask uh, Sopiaman a question, okay? Okay. What do you do in your life? What do you do in your life? Okay. So, do you understand the question, Sopiaman? Sopiaman? 
So, if you mind, this is a communication, the speaking skills class, and we're talking about how you can ask questions and how you would answer questions, uh, and then how you would how you would speak. So, Aaron is asking you uh, a question, and we're going to go through the skill of your answering it. Okay? Do you understand, Sopiman? Uh, me? Yes. You, you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I understand. Okay, good. Aaron, ask him a question. Okay, so Sopiman, what do you do in your life? Ah, <clears throat> uh, thank you. Uh, all I am, uh, sorry, in my life, uh, of course, I, I will, I will be doing uh, all the base of my life. Of course, uh, first of all, I I have to think first my family, uh, my wife, and my daughters. Okay, stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. Yes. Aaron, was that what you wanted to know? Not really. Okay, so that is not what she was looking for. So, Piemon, how, what would be, now you, you automatically heard uh, life as yes. in this great big thing, okay? But that's not what she was asking. So, what would be a good way for you to find out what she is really asking before you try and answer? Um, yeah, of course, I, I should, uh, what the persons uh, want to know about uh, about me. Okay, how would you about, do that? How would you find out what that person wants to know? Uh, firstly, I have uh, I should uh, Im imagine the uh, imagine uh, the question. I have to know the the uh, structure of the sentences he said to me. Okay. Question. Would it help for you? To ask her a question about what she means. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I should uh, know the no phrases, the okay. phrases but, of but, the sentences. But you don't understand. You don't know yeah. what she wants to know. You really don't. <laughs> There's only yeah. one way for you to find out, and that's to ask her what she means. You yeah. ask her what she means. So, if Aaron asks you, uh, I even forgot the question now. Um, <laughs> what was the question, Aaron? <laughs> what he's doing in his life. <laughs> okay. So, she's saying, Sopiman, what are you doing in your life? Okay. You're asking her, you don't know. So, what do you ask her? Yeah. Ask her a question. Um... Uh... What do you what what do you want to uh, from me to answer to answer your question? Okay, so you would say, "What do you mean?" Uh, right? What do you need to know? Okay. Kay. What do you, you okay? <laughs> both, um, both are good. Both are good. Um, what do you mean? Is uh, probably more direct to give her a chance, but what do you need to know is also good. Okay, so ask her what do you mean or what do you need to know. Let's go back to that. Okay. Uh, what do you need to know? Okay, Aaron? I'm interested to know what you are doing for a living in general. I am interested in knowing. <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's what we're doing this. In okay, interested in knowing what you do with your life in general. Okay. Now, that's a pretty broad topic, don't you think? Yeah. So I think like that. So let's let's organize your questions. I mean, she could be asking about your job, your family, uh, or what you like to do in your country. So, how would you better understand what she is asking? Mm, I better ask him uh, again uh, uh, about the specific one you want to know uh, uh, about about. 
Okay. So you'd say, what do you like? What would you like to know? What would you like specific, to specific one? Specifically, you want that specific. adverb? Yeah. Okay. Let me correct my spelling. What do you want? And then the next thing you would do is list some things to help her. Now it's your turn to help her ask you a question. Okay. Do you want to know about my work, my work, my family, okay. yes, my family, or my, or what, or my country. Let's try that. Okay, so so go ahead and and um, so Piman, ask her that, please. Uh, what do you want to know about uh, 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 about about me? Uh, no. You want to maybe you want to know about my work or my family or my country? What good, you've helped her out. You want to know? Yeah, very very good. You've helped her out, Aaron. You took the words right off my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know about your work. I would like to uh. know about your work. Very good. Very good. Now we've we've narrowed it down to what she wants to know. All right. Go ahead, Sophia Man. Say, right. uh, I'm uh, I'm about trying to answer your question about my uh, work. Okay. Please okay. tell me what are you doing? What is your uh, job about. All right, I will continue my explanation about my work. Uh, uh, right now, I work at the pharmaceutical company in Indonesia, uh, named uh, Himalaya. Himalaya is the I think it it is a big pharmaceutical company in this uh, world, uh, but actually. Uh, the company uh, most popular in India because the company uh, uh, came from India. The specific, the specifically, uh, the company is uh, um, produced uh, is producing uh, 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 a lot of kind of products in and a healthy care for people. Some of them, uh, some of our product, uh, can I tell you, uh, leave 52. Okay, now stop for just a minute. Aaron, has he answered your question? Only half of it. Okay, what, what did he not answer? Uh, first of all, I'm interested to know what were the skills required to perform his job? Okay. So she's asking about you. What you might want to do, Sophia Mon, in a situation like that, is you say, uh, well, I work for, I uh, forgot the name of the company, uh, Himalaya is a Himalaya. big, Himalaya, it is a pharmaceutical company um, in India. Uh, and then you say, you would ask her, is that what you want to know? Let's try that. Me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I already explained uh, about my company. Uh, These are conversation all, skills. I want you to practice. Start. Start back from the beginning. She asks. Well, what I mean is, where do you work? Go. Uh, uh, I work at uh, the. Sorry, I work in Indonesia. Okay. I work in Indonesia in. Uh, I think one. Uh, I think uh, in the one famous company, one famous pharmaceutical company in Indonesia, uh, and almost uh, famous uh, around the world. Famous, okay. you said? Okay. Yeah, I'm famous. Good, good. <laughs> Could you please tell me what are the skills 
you require for getting such a job? Very good. Ah. Very good. Uh, right now, I'm uh, right now I am in a marketing marketing division in that company, and of course, uh, the divisions need uh, some of our qualifications to enter the uh, the, the company, especially okay, so enter the divisions. Okay. Remember, listen, listen, listen. She was just about to ask you to qualify, to clarify. Go ahead. Erin. Okay, so that means you have an economical background. I do have almost the same. I'm looking for a job and I'm wondering if you can help me with some information in regards with uh, what this job requires. Is this a real question? <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> All right, good, good question. Um, <laughs> let me tell you that. Uh, actually, uh, my educational background is not switch with. Uh, not switch with, uh, to my job with my with my job I with my job right now uh, because I have a educational break around from uh, uh, hotel and uh, hotel and tourism uh, academy. Gentlemen, ladies, I hate to do this to you. We are out of time. We are out of time. So. I am sorry, but I have to go teach another class like right away. Uh, but I've had <laughs> had a lot of fun. <laughs> if if you would like to follow me, so you know when my classes are coming up, that'd be great. And I'm going to start uh, posting on Facebook. But I'm very sorry, I have to cut this off very very quickly, or I will have other students who will be very unhappy with me. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. Aaron. Hi. Hello, Aaron. Yes, I'm here. I, uh, do you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, Aaron. Aaron. Yes, now I can hear you, but I think we'll be kicked out. Oh, no problems. We can we can meet 